Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial for this add-on. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Edit, Preferences. And what we're going to do here is actually install the add-on. So go to the add-ons tab, hit Install, and find wherever you downloaded the zip file to on your computer. And all you have to do is click on it and then hit Install Add-on. And congratulations, you now have magical water powers. So all you have to do is hit N to go to the end panel and scroll down. You should see Anime Ocean add-on here. So you scroll down to that, you hit Create Ocean, and it'll automatically create it with all the settings. And all the parameters are right there. But firstly, I just want to add a light source because you're going to need that when you do this. We'll set it to something like 3 in terms of strength, because higher strength I've seen just looks better on this. Rotate it around a bit. Give it some nice shadows. You can also adjust the scale, choppiness, all of that. Now what we're going to want to do is actually append the shader. So when you download this, you also should have downloaded an example file. So just click on that, click on material, and then just click on the shader. Now all you have to do is really simple, you just click on your object, go to the shader editor, and replace the material. Just wait a bit, and there you have it. From here you can do basically whatever you want, I mean you can move the sun around like I'm doing here. You can uh, change the colors, change whatever the hell you want. Also another thing that's important is the shadow option on the sunlight. If you turn it off, sometimes it does look better, sometimes better to leave it on, so you should experiment with that a bit. But it's all personal preference, it's up to you. So I'm just going to show you how to animate it really quickly, it is extremely easy and fast. Just pull up the timeline, go to the modifier tab on your object, and hit I on time on frame 0, and then go to the end of the timeline, hit I again, and set it to whatever number you want. And make sure you hit A and then T, and then select linear interpolation, because we don't want it to be slow and then fast. We want it to be constant speed, and now you already have something that's automated. Now if we go to the shader editor, you're actually going to be able to change whatever you want in terms of like the foam, the color, everything is right here. It's foam detail, that just affects some of the detail. Thickness, um, you can see what it's doing there as I drag it. Spreading as well. You can change the hue, saturation. You can also change the individual colors if you want to move them around. But yeah, that's the awesome thing about this add-on, is you can really just change whatever you want and get whatever look you're going for. You can also change, as I'm doing here, the resolution. You can make it more simpler or more complex. As you can see here, I set the resolution to 9. Um, I like to have it at 14, because it's a bit more good-looking, I guess you could say that way. It's more detailed, but if you're going for something similar, you might want to just set it to 9 or 10. And yeah, you can adjust the seed. You can also adjust the size, although instead of doing that, you might want to just add the repeat x and the re repeat y functions to make it bigger. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and if you do decide to get this, I hope you enjoy it. It took me a while to make and actually develop a process for doing this, so I'm glad I can finally share it all with you guys.